guys all right so what's crazy is um i was taking a guy on uber to get his car from the cinemark because the area did th th those charges over there offer free charging that is pretty oh, let me complete the uber um but they offer free charging. I got another trip to go do. I'm out just making money in the vehicle. Um, we're out here, baby. But I'm going to speak up on this topic, man. Of the imp we we even talked had a huge conversation about the the charging infrastructure with electrical vehicles. And he had one of those new Kia Kia um, SUV uh, SUV um, SUVs, um, and, it, and it's nice and everything. So we're going to talk about it. Hey, you guys, we made it back to the movie theater where an EV driver was charging their car overnight. And I couldn't miss out on this content and getting this story for you guys. And I believe we have a Ford Lightning doing the same thing as well over there. But as you can see, I have my Tesla Model Y. Just got doing some, uh, I was in the gig economy this morning, um, making some really good money, <laughs> trying to, but it's been really pretty, pretty good in the morning for me and in the afternoon. And I tried to get some uh, content for you guys. Um, Y'all see, we got the snack bag is empty. <laughs> I got the um, the little tablet. Anyways, you guys, I'm actually thankful, blessed, and grateful that Uber gave me that amazing trip to meet that amazing fella, um, an EV owner himself, um, going through the EV life, the EV struggles. And he's only owned his EV, his Kia, I think it was a Kia Neuro. Um, as y'all seen in the first clip, the Kia, the Kia, Kia uh, Neuro, he's only owned it for four months. And we talked about the charging infrastructure. We talked about EVs. And he basically said, if you don't have a Tesla, it's like comparing, it's like having Android and iPhone. All the Teslas are iPhones and every other EV is like an Android. That's what he said out of his own mouth. And again, I wish I would've got our conversation recorded or something like that, but again, um, for privacy reasons and he's also just a, an uber passenger in my car in my vehicle and um we chatted up for you know all the way here man and it was an amazing chat this is why i tell y'all man uber you get to network and meet some amazing people man it's a blessing i get to help people people that are struggling people that are you know you, and like i tell drivers with some some passengers you have to be patient they might have a disability or anything like that man and it's like especially yesterday like i told y'all i had to work with some lady um, that has had brain surgery or something like that and you know it was hard um i had to, to hard understanding her and her like i think she had a stroke as well so her i had to help with her walker but again you have to be patient with these these passengers and especially in my area because you just never know who you're picking up but overall it's been an amazing journey trip um i've always had amazing passengers um, I'm still a five-star uh, driver on the app, but back to the story. I know I'm getting off topic, but it's a blessing, man. I'm happy to be out here to get this story for y'all because, man, I this is things that we talk about on the channel is real life. It's happening. People are really, you know, parking their cars outside of a movie theater for free charging overnight, and he says that he does it. You know, I believe two to three times out the week, um, depending on how much he drives, but charges his car up to full um, and for free, completely free. So I do have the adapter in my car to use these chargers. So I think I might plug in and see how it works again. Last time we tried to use one of these, um, we had an issue. And y'all know I do not supercharge my car. I don't put my car on these chargers. I do the free home charging deal. And I also got him hooked up with my family member, but not really my family member, but I consider him family because he's been such a blessing to me, man. Um, he's my electrician and he fixes anything around the house, electrical wise or anything like that. Um, he's an amazing guy, man. He did my, my Tesla char charger, NEMA, NEMA uh, 1450, I believe, the level two charger for a dirt cheap price when everybody was trying to manhandle me for thousands of bucks because my, my uh, breaker box is on the outside of the home and you have to run tubes and stuff through the bushes and underneath the plants and stuff 
So um, he gave me an amazing deal and he's been such a blessing in my life. And um, I've also recommended a couple other EV owners, Tesla owners, and they've used him and he charged them dirt, dirt cheap prices, man, to install a charger in their garage or wherever they wanted it located. But um, so he was thankful for that. But that's why I tell you, you never know who you meet, who can help you. Um, you know, it's always good to just help people, man. Care for people, um, talk to them, communicate, man. You never know what people are going through. And um, he's a new EV owner, four months in, and he says he's kind of like in the mix right now. He doesn't know if he's gonna. He doesn't. He doesn't like the charging infrastructure. And I told him um, one reason why you really don't like the charging infrastructure is because of. Um, what you're doing you know you don't you, you're getting ubers to come get your car and stuff like that your car has to charge for free yeah, but the good thing is though his car is charging for free but again he has to hassle getting back and forth leaving his car here and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so it kind of can be a pain if you're you know leaving your car here and spending money to catch ubers and lifts and stuff back home and come back but he says um that's you know this is the charging infrastructure for him getting the vehicle charged has been a complete a complete hassle but it hasn't been too too bad he says but um comment down below what y'all think man would you if it was free would you charge your car at the movie theaters um overnight um and i could see somebody in an apartment doing this kind of deal or people you know people that yeah people that live in apartments or areas where they can't put a home charger in or something like that i can see this like this this is a complete amazing survival type of deal you know for anybody that owns electric vehicles um let's park my car in front of the movie theaters and leave it on charge and again we have a ford lightning right there and sorry the sun's in the way you guys it's it's beaming a ford lightning right there is charging on the charges um nice and peacefully but we had an amazing conversation I always meet amazing people every time I go out in Uber, if I'm taking them to the airport, if I'm meeting a veteran, if I'm meeting somebody that owns a business, um, I've written with millionaires, I've received big tips, no tips, you know what I'm saying? And it's all a blessing, man, at the end of the day um, that I get to be out here and I get to learn from people. I get to communicate, you know what I'm saying? I get to understand what what they going through i can also learn from them. you know it's a blessing man you know <laughs> i'm just so excited to be recording this man because you know every time i get an ev owner they usually own one of these they own uh, a couple teslas and stuff like that and they all they do is compliment how much they love it how stress-free it is and that's the first thing he said the reason i bought an ev he said I wanted something different because a lot of people in this area where we live in Texas, everybody has a Tesla. He even said that. And I said, yeah. So he said, I wanted to go with the new Kia. And um, I was like, you know, everybody around here is buying different vehicles in Tesla. Like I'm telling you, we're seeing more Lightnings. Like over there, we're seeing more Lightnings. We're seeing more Kias, more Hyundais, Hyundais, whatever y'all want to say it is. We're seeing a couple more of the pole stars and the Rivians are in the area. So I've seen more Rivians too, man. People are paying them, them price points, new and used. But, wow, leaving your car outside of a movie theater overnight. Does that, does that sound, what is, <clears throat> I know some of y'all like, Rick, God, God leave, buddy. I don't know if I can do it. You know, I don't, I don't trust my, maybe somebody break into her break the window you know <laughs> you know so it's a lot of ways you can think about it but again we live in a, a nice area suburban good old suburbs so you wouldn't think nobody come mess with your car while it's on charge over here and um i know like for most owners you, everything is ran through your phone app so you get a notification if anybody is um messing with your vehicle or break a window or something like that but um yeah, comment down below, would you leave any EV owners that's watching right now, would you leave your vehicle on charge at a movie theater? At a movie theater. Oh man, he got that Honda. That Honda need a, something like that's a timing belt. He need to get that timing belt fixed. See, us EV owners, I'm 
got to deal with that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know about combustion people gonna be mad like Rick you stop all that all that now you own a combustion you you know what it's like yes indeed man we love our combustion we don't care what Biden didn't say it and fell down and went to sleep and he Biden ate some oatmeal this morning and we're right back to bed you know what I'm saying I don't care about no what the government got to say who care about the EV push man we still believe that our um EVs will be out will be uh, no our combustion engines will be out for more decades to come baby you know what I'm saying I love me a Honda and a Toyota, man. Born and raised in a Toyota family, man. Putting 300,000 miles on Tacomas, Forerunners, Camrys, Corollas, man. We've done that, man. And I just sold the Tacoma, you know, well, the Forerunner with 300,000 miles, same motor, same transmission, man. That's the, and I regret selling the Tacoma. You know, I regret selling that Tacoma, man. But comment down below. Um, we might try to see if, if we can figure this situation out. I might make a separate video or I might throw it in this video. I don't know yet if uh, I can plug in my car. I do have the, hopefully I did bring an adapter with me. I know I have one, but um, yeah. Comment down below, would you leave your car <laughs> overnight at a Cinemark? You know what I'm saying? Well, any movie theater or any place nearby. And again, um, this would actually be not be not bad for people that do Uber or the gig work or work in their vehicle um they could if you, if you live in this area you could park their car here that would be amazing i'm not gonna tell y'all what the location is because he told me the, the guy told me not to tell no i'm just y'all know i hate gatekeeping man because i want everybody to win man i want everybody to be blessed happy more success more time to spend with your loved ones in 2024 man i want everybody to have an amazing life man that's the point of the channel that's why the channel is called okay life even though i'm okay rick i want everybody to have an okay life man spread that love you never know what people are going through man but i'm glad i got to cover this story and like y'all say and, and like like we seen man well like i say one day at a time man spread that love one day at a time care be kind to one another you know what i'm saying be a blessing man it's all it's all out of love man god is love man god bless all you beautiful people around the world um again i will try to see if i can plug my car in i don't know yet i might throw it in the video i might not but uh, I love y'all. Comment down below. Would you leave your EV overnight to let it charge for free? That Hey, comment down below right now. <laughs> but hey, I love y'all. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Hey, hey, to use the charger, you need one of these. I'm going to throw this in the, in the middle or maybe in the beginning. I don't know. I'm going to just squeeze this in the video. <laughs> but you need one of these to use one of these chargers just for anybody that's like well rick how did i even use those chargers for just you need one of these and usually if you have a tesla or any vehicle like if you have a tesla most of the time it comes with i think they they automatically give you one with with your uh purchase you should have one of these if you don't you can buy them online amazon you know what I mean? but you need one of these right here and it clips on you know what i'm saying just like this look let me see if i can get her bam just like that you see you're ready to go, Billy, Jimmy, Rebecca, Sarah, Anna. I don't know. I need some more names. Love y'all, man. But hey, that's how you do it. All right. Will it charge the Tesla? You just tap it. Oh, what is it? it just made a noise. Oh, it's green. You guys, it's charging. Oh, my goodness. It is charging. We will not be stranded. Maybe the charging infrastructure is not what people say it is, huh? <laughs> Maybe the charging infrastructure is going to be 